before we go anywhere, Bernsey, is your child okay and is the insurance policy intact because somebody is going to lose a limb? Ha! The sword. You want to see the swords? We can pull yes. the swords out, bro. When you were dicing fruit in your living room, I, I was like, yes, please give it to the child next. And you did, which is why you never fail. <laughs> give him a little taste. Give him a little something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. We got, got dark caning over here. <laughs> this is how you guys are staying busy in quarantine. No baseball. You got Dallas Braden's breeding bees. Eric Burns endangering his children. I'll tell you right now, Rags, that's a, that's a small fellow right there that if, if when quarantine season hits next time, you better be dialing that young man up because that's exactly <laughs> where you need to go. Who needs a, a guard dog? Beware of boy. My dad never played baseball. He's a 4-3 black belt in Kempo Karate. And so that's all I did. I was karate and tennis. And thus it kind of like leads into our tennis ball games that we have here every night. Because when I was a kid, my parents had all these tennis balls around the house. But again, you know, they never played baseball. So my next door neighbor used to come over I used to, we used to play strikeout every day. He's just fireballs yes. out. He's one of the best pitchers in Little League. And uh, he was like four or five years older. And that's how I learned how to play the game. And so I'm, you know, essentially trying to recreate it a little bit. Now, my dad passed away a few years ago, but he left us these swords, these katana swords. And I've never, you know, I mean, they're, they're cool. They're pretty, like, look at these things. But they're, dude, they're amazing. I've got one. I've got one from Mizuno, custom made, handcrafted, one of one. It is beautiful. Like, I'm scared to really? even unsheath that thing. I don't even want to touch it, dude. I'm, yeah. I'm dude, I'll put a hole bro, in myself. I was, a, I was the same way. And then one day he, he picks it up and he starts twirling this thing around. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> and then it's just, I kind of realized, man, it's, it's, it's a gift that, that you know, dude. Great Paw passed down to him. He's got the staff, he's got the sword. I mean, he's dude, just, that's, that little, is legit. Dude's out of his mind. I'm not sure if this is what Governor Newsom had in mind when he said to homeschool your kids, but... Uh... That's, that's exactly what he had in mind. That's exactly what... I just threw my one-year-old into the deep end of the pool today. Let's see. Let's go. Like, she's been swimming her little butt off in the spa. You know, she can touch the ground. Let's see. Couple bobs up and down, and then sure, I had to go get her, but we're getting there, Rags, and how else yeah. are you going to learn? I got to hear about the bees, though. What are you doing with them? Are you breeding them? Yes, yes, absolutely. So, so we have a, a a small, like a small fruit grove, you know, just like six plus trees or so, uh, avocados and stuff. And then we got wildflower, and we're planting some other flowers that these bees will then pollinate. But we've got a couple ponds on the property. It's about the the power of being able to harness Mother Nature and maximize what she's offering because we'll eventually be eating this fruit that's been pollinated by these bees that we'll be able to rent out. We'll harvest honey from these bees. Our fish are providing nutri a nutrient-rich water for the bees, for the fruit. To tie this together, Dallas, you've got this beautiful ecosystem going between the pond, irrigating the grove, and the bees pollinating the fruit, creating the honey. That fruit can then be sliced by Burnsy's kids. How about <laughs> that? I'm, I'm essentially growing soft toss for the mini gohart. Isolate Night with Scott Rogowski, live every Sunday through Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern.